Hi guys, James here. Welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone's having a great day. So guys, today I'm excited because I am unboxing a massive ColourPop haul. Now I haven't actually shopped anything from ColourPop in almost a year and a half, but they had a really big 4th of July sale on where everything was 30% off their entire website. So I did a massive haul, plus I did pick up a brand new launch that they had at the time, which I'm really excited for because I haven't actually picked up a ColourPop launch, like a whole entire collection, since the Raw Beauty Christie ColourPop X Raw Beauty Christie um, collaboration. So I'm excited about this. Um, now the collection, was not 30% off because it did launch um, when they had the sale on. I have the box here. It is chock-a-block full of stuff. Now, I did actually um, get this yesterday. And guys, as you know from my last um, YouTube video, which I did live, I coughed throughout the whole entire thing. I still have a cough. I have a drink. Hopefully that will help. But to save some time and to save my voice, I actually went through and I opened everything up. Took all the packaging off, just so you don't have to um, listen to me struggle with all the packaging. But also, I wanted to make sure that um, all the palettes were not broken because I've had quite a few um, palettes broken from Colourpop. So I wanted to double check everything. Nothing is broken, thank God. And I also did get a freebie as well, which I didn't order, um, but they threw in a freebie, which I will show you in a second. So yeah, guys, let's get straight into it. This is what it looks like. A ton of different things. I've got some eyeshadow palettes. I've got some skincare items, foundation, concealer, ton of things. So I think I'll leave the collection till the end. Like the, it is the Opal Eye Collection, I think. I think that's what it is. So I'll leave the collection till last because I, I want to kind of show you all together. But I'll pull everything else out. Um, what I'll do is I'll pull out this one here first. Okay, so the first items we have a little collection. Now this is not the full entire collection. I just got the lip liners. Um, I just I just got the eyeliners and the eyeshadow palette in this collection. This is the In the Springs eyeshadow palette. Now I am pretty sure Ali did a video with this, Ali Dawson. Um, and I absolutely fell in love with the actual palette itself. So I had to get this. And I've run out of all my ColourPop creme gel liners. So I got a ton of these. So you'll see a whole lot of these um, in this box. But this is what the palette looks like. The packaging is so nice. Like this is all textured and raised. It feels so good. And also this palette is really, really hefty. Like it feels really heavy. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy about this. I haven't actually um, looked at the palette too much. I just opened it quickly just to make sure it wasn't broken. So this is kind of the first impressions with you guys. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I did leave the plastic sleeve on. Like I said, I just quickly opened it and closed it straight away. This palette doesn't come with a mirror, which is surprising because of the weight. Like it feels really heavy. So I was surprised there was no mirror, but oh my God, this is what it looks like without the plastic on top of it. So you don't get any glare. I've been trying to find some really good oranges to add to my collection. I don't have very many orange shades that work for me. So I'm really excited to try out this palette. And then also the blue shades, you know I love blue. So this is a really, really pretty palette. I can't wait to play with this one. I already have a look in mind. So I'm trying to play with that one. So that's the first item. Now I'm not gonna give you prices for everything just because it was all 30% off. So I don't know how much everything was. Plus there was free shipping as well. So I did have to pay shipping, great. All right guys, let's get into these liners. So we have four liners here. We have the shade Crystal Crush, Puppy, what's this one, Honey Dude, and then Overboard. God, they make this writing so small. All right, let me just um, I'll open it from this end. I just got a pair of tweezers to help me open these. Now, I love Colourpop's Creme Gel Liners. Let me just open all of them first. I was gonna show you one by one, but I'll open all of them so I'm not struggling. I don't keep the packaging for these, so I'll throw these out, even though the packaging is really, really pretty. I love them. All right, guys, I have all the liners here. These are the four shades. So we've got an orange, a blue, a nude, and then a brown. Now this, they look kind of metallic, so let me just quickly see what they look like. Oh, okay, so this brown is a metallic. Stop running around. There we go, so it's a metallic shade. I might do a quick swatch of these on the back of my hand. Oh, this is like a bronzy metallic brown. Oh, that's pretty, and they just feel so creamy. Okay, so we've got that one. Then we've got a blue, which is metallic as well. Oh, this one's um so pigmented. Oh, I'm gonna have fun I'm using those. Oh, it's not wanting to go any further. Then we have the nude shade, which is also metallic. I didn't realize these were all metallics. Oh, I mixed some of the nude with the blue. That's okay. 
you'll still be able to see what shade it is. And then the one I'm really excited for is this like tangerine orange. Because I don't have... Oh, God. Okay, it already broke off. These are so soft. You have to be so careful with these. It's already breaking off, so let me just do it again. I'm making so so pretty. Okay, these are the four shades. Really, really pretty. Very pigmented. Loving those. So those are the um, liners that I got from this collection in the springs. And then the palette, which Beyond is excited for. The next item we have, let me open the biggest palette we have in this collection, or this haul, is this palette here. Now, Ali Dawson did do a review on this, and I said in her comments, I'm getting this palette. But I always wait for a sale. So I waited until it was on sale. This is the Getting Fresh palette. It is a pressed powder palette, and it's one of the bigger palettes. Um, all the shade names are on the back. Really, really pretty. From the tone of it, it kind of looks like a new palette. But I'll wait until I open it for you. I did actually have a good look at this one because I just fell in love with it as soon as I opened it. This is what the packaging looks like, same as the Unicarton. And then when I open it up, again, a very, very, very heavy palette. It doesn't have a mirror, but a very good weight to it. This is what the palette looks like. It is very new tone, but these greens are stunning. I cannot wait to play with these. And then these neutrals. I actually like when the camera goes like that because it, it really shows you how pretty this palette is. So pretty. I can't wait to play with this. And a lot of these shades look like they're super shock formulas. So I'm really excited for that. And the good thing is there's no glitter shades in this. I don't like Colourpop's glitter formula. So I will be able to use every single one of these um, shades in this palette. So I'm really excited for it. Then guys, oh god, let me just pull out a whole lot of things. We've got some super shock shadows. We've got concealers, foundations, lippies. Oh, actually, I'll show you the freebie that they um, threw in. So I I did not order this at all. Like, I've never ordered anything from the Lizzie McGuire collection. I didn't really like the eyeshadow palette, um, but I'm excited for this. I didn't actually open this yesterday, so I don't know if it's broken or not. Hopefully it's not. And I don't know what the shade is. It is um, a pressed powder blush. I know that's what it is because it says on the back, but I don't know what the shade is, so... I'm hoping it's not broken, and I'm hoping it's a shade I will wear. That packaging is really cute. And, like, I, I remember growing up watching Lizzie McGuire. It was one of my favourite shows. So this is pretty cool. Pretty cool that they threw this in. Oh, okay. So this is a really pretty, like, it's a really pretty um, blush. It's a hot pink blush, and it is, it's a matte formula, but it had glitter reflexes throughout the whole thing. So it's like a shimmer blush. Let me swatch it for you because I'm interested to see. I don't think I've ever actually tried one of Colourpop's blushes before. That's what it looks like on my finger. It feels very creamy, very buttery. Okay, it is a matte, but it does have um, like glitter throughout it. So that's what it looks like there. Really pretty. That's actually a really pretty shade. I'm actually really excited about that. I'm excited that they threw this in. That was really nice of them. Very, very happy with that. Okay, so that's the freebie they gave me. Let's open some of these. Okay, so I've got two super... I'm all over the place, guys. I've got two Super Shock um, shadows here. They are actually exactly the same shade. And then I also have this shade here, which I'll open up. Now, these two are my favourite Super Shock um, shadows that Colourpop has ever done. I've actually got one that's three years old, so it's starting to dry out. That's why I bought two, because it's just my favourite shade. Um, and it is the shade Ice Dream. I know Lottie and I both, pure Lottie and I both love this shade so much. So I know that she picked a few of these up as well. Um, I think she got her order yesterday. We were talking about it and she got her order yesterday. So I'm excited to actually see what else she got as well. But this is the one of the um, Ice Dream shades. I'm not going to open the other one. I'm going to keep that sealed until I need it. But guys, I don't know if the camera will do it justice. Don't worry about my fingernails. I've got anxiety. That's what it looks like. It is so pretty. It's so pretty. It just looks like glass. Let me swatch it. I have to swatch it for you. This works so pretty as an eyeshadow topper. Um, inner corner highlighter, cheek highlighter. It's just the prettiest. Like, let me let, wait, wait until the lights go down. Come on lights, still, there we go. Look at that. It's got a pink reflex to it. It's stunning. It's stunning. I absolutely love this um, highlighter or super shock shadow. So I'm excited that I got two. This one will be sealed until I need to use it. This is the one that I'm going to replace, the one that's old. And then the other shade we have is um, Q 
Hilodges. Oh, I don't know if I'm saying that right. That's a weird name. Um, but I picked this up because I wanted like a red tone shimmer shade that I don't actually have in any of my palettes. Can you see the name? That's what it looks like. Um, and I did see this online. Oh, this actually oh, it has a hair in it. I just did that with my tweezers. contrast anyway there was a hair in it that's what it looks like yeah um that's a bit weird it wasn't embedded in it it was just on top of my actual super sharp eyeshadow and this doesn't actually look very brown it looks more of a ter oh red sorry this looks more of a terracotta brown i wanted a red shade like online it looked really red that's why i picked this shade yeah that that's brown that's terracotta brown like a beautiful color but i really wanted a red and I waited for this to come in to do a look because I have a blue and red look in mind, but I wanted a red shimmer. And that's why I waited for this shadow to come in so I could do that look. That is brown, that is terracotta brown, that is not red. I'm gonna show you a photo of this shade on ColourPop's website and you just tell me what you think compared to what I just showed you. Because it, it online it looked red. I'm still happy about that shade, but I'm now I have to find a red shimmer that I like. All right, the next packages. Yeah, okay. This one, oh, we have this other palette as well. I'm just trying to keep everything separated. Okay, so that's all the collection stuff. I'm all over the place because I'm trying to do this as quick as possible. I haven't actually coughed much, which is, fingers crossed, keeping going in this video. Keeping. I hope it keeps going in this video, you know what I mean. All right, so the next two items we have are from ColourPop, obviously. This is the Pretty Fresh Hydration Foundation. Now, I hope I picked the right shade. I have tried this shade, um, this foundation once before, but it was the wrong shade, so I never picked up another one because I just found it very hard to match the shade. It was very, very yellow toned. So I'm hoping this one's a bit better. And this one here is the matte concealer, the no filter concealer. So I wanted to try one of these two because I, I do like their foundations. Very affordable. It might be a bit dark for me, but I, I think I can make that work with a translucent setting powder that usually lightens it up a bit more. And then we have this concealer. I just, this is in the shade medium eight, medium eight, Medium eight, medium eighty white. That one there. And then the concealer is in the shade light sixteen. That's the shade there. That would definitely work for me. I always get um, a concealer three or four shades lighter than my foundation because I like to brighten up under my eyes. Okay, so happy about that. Foundation might be a bit of a work um, around, but we'll get there. Then we have this lippy stick, which is in the shade Pitch, which I picked up because I love um, a really deep brown lipstick or lip pencil or lip liner. Um, and I don't have very many that um, work for me or that I like. So I'm, I'm picking this up because I do love their um, lippy sticks i did have a lot in my cart but i ended up only picking this up because all of this cost me about 400 dollars australian so um yeah a little i went a little overboard this is what it looks like let me show you the shade oh that's so pretty so pretty like a deep red and i like this because you can actually line your lips with it because it's quite like small oh that's the shade there, really, really pretty brown, like a really nice brown. Um, and I actually have an Ofra lip gloss, the shade Truffle, which is like a brown lip gloss with um, glitter reflexes. That will go over this nicely, so yay about that. Um, we have a uh, Fourth Ray Beauty Good Moon Gel Moisturizer. Now, um, Fourth Ray is the sister brand of ColourPop. It's their skincare brand, which I'm excited for. Sorry, my phone is going off next to me. And this is what it looks like, guys. Really pretty. I actually love Fourth Ray um, Beauty's skincare. I've used to love their um, like skin milks. I think that's what it is, or what it's called. So I'm excited to try this moisturizer out. 
I just want to open it up and smell it because this is the I think this is the rose one what is this one what scent is it I think it's the rose one there were quite a few different scents and I got this one oh that smells so pretty so it's just a white gel with a little bit of a pink hue to it I'm excited to try that one I'm actually using my um, Huda Beauty moisturizer right now the lavender one which I love it smells really really strong lavender so if you don't like lavender don't buy that because it just it stays all over your face for the whole day like it's that scented um, but I will be using that after I use that one up and now guys we have a whole lot of ColourPop liners so I picked up a whole lot of these because they're actually duos oh there are two in one um, liner so they've got two different colors in each of these um, either end of them so the first one we picked up is the juice pop color liner no I don't it doesn't it just it doesn't have a name to it but there are three liners in each of these in each of these so I couldn't say that properly that's what they look like I don't know if I swatch every single one just because we have a ton but like they're quite thick these liners but like I said I love their liners so I wanted to pick up a whole lot of colors just because I've run out of my um, pink and blue ones that I had and I really was upset when that happened because I, I love to put a liner in my waterline when I do a look. I'm just watching all of these. Oh. Oh, okay, there's two blue, purple ones. Okay, one's a shimmer, but they're very similar color-wise. Um, that's okay. We got a black, I actually have one of their blacks already, but it's always good to have another one. Oh, that is really drying, this one. That's really, really rough on the back of my arm. Um, very, very rough compared to the other ones. The other ones just glide on. Oh, we've got a nice hot pink one. Oh, that's like a bubble gum pink, and it's a shimmer. Sorry, I'm just swatching all these on the back of my head. I'll show you in one second what they look like. Okay, so that's all of them there. Yeah, that's all of them there. All the swatches. These two purples kind of look the same. This is a shimmer. That's just more of a, a matte, I guess. And then we've got all those. So those are those ones. Then we have this one here, which is another. It just it says Fizz Pop. So I guess this is the Fizz Pop collection, which I never really heard about. But okay. These are the ones we have here. We have a white, we have a yellow. I'm not going to swatch the white. I'll swatch the yellow because I'm interested to see what that looks like. Oh, it's actually it's quite pigmented. That's good. Oh. I don't know what's in there, but there's something in there. Um, we've got some neutrals. This is a gold shimmer. Oh, that gold shimmer is really pretty. That's actually <laughs> really pretty. We have this peachy coral moment, which I'll swatch next to the gold. We have, I think this is a red one, and I wanted a red one for such a long time. Oh, that is like a true red as well. Oh, that's pretty. And then we have this metallic peach. Oh, that is stunning. Okay, those are those ones there. I didn't swatch the white, but we've got these ones. That red is really pretty, this yellow. This um, peachy and gold one, and then this peach shimmer. That is more metallic, it's really pretty. Okay, we've got two more. I'm running out of um, breath. We've got these ones here. I don't think I'll swatch all of these. I'll just swatch. If there's any in particular, I'll swatch them. But oh, these are all pink. Okay, are these? I think I picked up some. Oh, these are lippies. These ones are lippies. These are um, eyeliners. This one is an eyeliner. So I'll swatch the lippies on the back of my on the other hand. We've got a really nice. Oh, that's. A beautiful red beautiful red oh where am I gonna swatch this okay I'm left-handed so this is harder to swatch in a straight line that was a terrible swatch oh and it's actually okay I didn't know didn't realize that so it's actually a lippy pencil so it's a bit thicker and then we've got the lip liner on the other side so that's actually really good to have the lip liner for the lippy stick as well so I won't swatch all of these now that I know that we've got a coral that one there really pretty and the same shade I think on this same shade so happy about that and then we've just got another red oh no this is a pink 
really pretty bubble gum pink lippy stick okay happy about that and then the last one i know i'm just i, I told you I, I had a whole lot of these liners because i i really wanted to um get my collection back up with my liners i only have a black and a red one uh, black and a white one left so i really wanted some other ones these are oh, this like this green when i saw that i had to pick that up like a lime green liner in the waterline with a blue look or a deep purple look and this like hot green moment would just yes okay we've got a neutral one it's a bit drying on the back of my hand but um but that's okay we've got this deep blue tone one. Oh, that's really dark that's good grungy blue a grungy green Oh, that is not a grungy, well, it's grungy, but that is really pretty. I'll show you that in a second. And then we've got a deep of green. I am so happy that I actually found some greens and blues. Oh, we've got the little aqua blue moment that I've run out of. Oh, I'm so happy you picked that up. That's really pretty. Um, all right, so those are the swatches there, guys. I'm running out of room, but look at that hot green. And then we've got this like metallic bluish green light blue dark blue and then this grungy blue that i'm i'm so happy like i've added one two three four five six seven eight nine nine times two eighteen liners plus all these other ones that i picked up as well so i'm i'm good for liners for the next year or two happy about that and then lastly guys we have the bundle which is the opal of my eye bundle it's all listed here i'm so excited for this when i saw it i had to get it i had to get it the lip glosses that everything but the palettes are, are, are stunning. You'll see exactly what I mean. So let me show you them, but I'll just quickly make some more room. I'll put some of this stuff back in here. When I saw this collection, I waited up till, I think it was two o'clock in the morning, Australian time to get it. I had everything else in my um, cart because I was like, I'm pretty sure this collection will sell out. Oh, actually I forgot about this palette. This is the ColourPop Nine Pan Armor palette. This is the Blue Moon palette. I've had this so many times. I think this is my third one. I love this palette so much. Um, I had to get this one as well because of the other one um, was expired and I actually broke that palette just to keep one shade. But now I actually have a whole entire full palette again, which I'm excited for. Is this not the perfect Iron Pan Blue eyeshadow palette that you've ever seen? It is so, so pretty. Love this palette. So excited to add that back into my collection. All right, let's get into the last bit of this whole this video is very long i apologize so this collection comes with two eyeshadow palettes and it comes with two highlight palettes also comes with a shimmer body powder and it comes with three lip glosses let me do the lip glosses first because these lip glosses are straight up my alley i love lip glosses with um, glitter or shimmer formula in them so when i saw these i had to add these to my collection they are so pretty the packaging is stunning it's got like an opal effect on the packaging okay so we have three shades we've got sunshine required which is this one here just a really pretty like nude shimmer and it's got a bit of a gold tinge i will do swatches of these on the back of my hand i don't know how good they will be or i don't know how how well they'll show up on camera but i'll do a double dip on it just so you can really see it on the back of my hand Oh, that is it feels really thick and really glossy I will put one of these on my lips as well I think I'll put the favorite color on my lips this one here is my goodies that one there again very very similar gloss color wise but this one has um, some pink reflections throughout it another one had gold now the applicators are a bit hard to work with I've always had problems with color pops up applicators from their lip glosses oh that's such a pretty color though that they don't have any scent to them actually it's kind of smells like chemicals it's got almost like a paint smell to it and then the last one we have and then guys the last one we have is beach please beach please not bitch please i think this is my favorite i'm gonna put this on my lips i think i have to definitely my favorite Okay, let me just quickly get a mirror and put this on my lips for you guys. Because I want to test out the formula as well. My lips are so dry right now. 
I do not like these applicators. They're just really hard to work with and they take a, two or three dips to do your four lips. But that's what it looks like on my lips. I'm really loving the way those shine. Those are the swatches there. I don't know if I'll be able to do this properly. Let's see if the lights will adjust. Okay, so those are the swatches there. I don't know if you'll be able to see the reflexes or not, but that's what they look like. I, I'm really happy to pick those up. Hey guys, we've got this item here, which is the Shimmer Body Powder. Now, I don't use this. I don't think I will use this. I think I'll just put this in a giveaway. Let me just open it for you. I, I looked at this quickly just to see if it was broken or not. I find it quite hard to actually open this. Like, I find it quite hard to open it. Um, this is what it looks like. I haven't swatched it at all. It looks like I've swatched it, but I haven't. That's what it looks like. It's kind of, it's giving me a peach blush vibe, color-wise. I don't know if I look good with that all over my body. So, I might... It looks like it's swatched. I haven't swatched it. It's just because it's on the little plastic here. Um, I might see if my sister will like this or not. I don't want to swatch with my finger. I know she likes like shimmer body stuff. So I might see if that would be something she wants to use. Um, I don't know if I want to put that in giveaway because it looks like it's swatched. I haven't swatched it. But we'll, we'll see what I do with that in the future. But what I'm really excited about is these um, palettes. So we've got two eyeshadow palettes and then we've got two highlighter palettes which are these ones here so it's actually eight highlighters in total in this collection and then we've got two nine pan eye heart and then we've got two nine pan um eyeshadow palettes let me just open them up so this one here is the what the shell nine pan eyeshadow palette it's so pretty like it's the camera's not doing it justice it is stunning and that marble shade i just can't wait to swirl my finger in that i don't want to do it right now but uh, I'm excited to play with that one. But I think this 9 pan eyeshadow palette is my favorite. This is the Shell Shocked um, 9 pan eyeshadow palette. The colors in that are stunning. Like it's giving me pastel vibes, blue vibes with a bit of pink. And we've got some cool tone neutral shades. It's so pretty. And again, I wanted to swirl my finger into that. It's so pretty. Excited about that. And then these highlight palettes, you know I love a highlighter moment. So the fact that there are two highlight palettes um, so the fact that there are two highlighter palettes that I can actually use in this collection are stunning. Like, I can use every single one of those shades. Really, really pretty. We've got the neutral champagnes. We've got a little bit of a purple moment. Really, really pretty. Excited to play with that. And then this highlighter palette. This one is probably one I would use more for a blusher or um, an eyeshadow topper just because it's quite, it's quite vibrant, but really pretty nonetheless like this would be perfect as a bright highlighter for a creative look. And then we've got this purple highlighter that is stunning. So, so pretty. And then these two will be perfect as eyeshadow toppers. So pretty. I actually have to swatch this one. And guys, that's what it looks like. Look at the back of my hand, it looks like glass. So, so pretty. That formula is so creamy and so buttery. I, I can't wait to play with everything in this collection. Those eyeliners, I'm so happy I've got a whole lot at a discounted price. I think they were almost, 50, some of them were like on their last leg. So they were like more than 30% off. Some were 50, 70% off. And then everything else was 30% off. So I'm really, really happy with this haul. I have a ton of new products to play with. Highlighter palettes, eyeshadow palettes, lip glosses, eyeliners, foundation, concealer. Just a ton of new things. Skincare, I'm really, really happy with everything I picked up. Nothing came broken, which I'm really excited for. And it only took three weeks to get here, which is amazing. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, seeing everything that I got. And if you tried any of these items out, please leave a comment down below how you found them. Because I really love to know how other people found these products. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and also check out my Instagram and TikTok because I do post a lot of things on there that I don't film here. And guys, until next time, stay safe, and I will see you later. Oh my love, bye.